Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen in San Francisco, California. My name is Sally and I'm excited to be sharing my Be My Philly Pumpkin Pie Bar recipe with you. I've always been really interested in cooking and developing my own recipes. I actually developed this recipe from the Philly cream cheese package where the recipe is on the inside. Over time, adapting pumpkin pie and the cream cheese cake recipe, I've developed these pumpkin pie bars that are a hit at family parties or just to take to work or to enjoy at your own home. Alright everybody, let's get cooking. Follow me to my kitchen. I'm going to start off making the graham cracker crust. Now your oven should be preheated to 350 degrees. You're going to need approximately one of these little sleeves of graham crackers. I like the honey graham crackers and one third a cup of butter, okay? So we're gonna microwave this butter and melt it. And that is a third of a cup. Now, to our graham cracker crust. I used to spend a lot of time smashing this by hand in a big plastic bag. I found that if I put it in my food processor, it works much better. Now, a coarse grind on this is okay and appreciated, actually. About 15 to 20 pulses in this food processor, this food processor is about all it needs. Okay, now my butter's all melted and I'm just going to add it right here to my graham crackers. And you just want to mix it until every single graham cracker is, is uh, saturated with the butter. This is going to help it when it bakes off to be a nice hard crust. This should take about one minute. I just love cooking this recipe for holiday parties. Everybody really loves it and it's no longer a request. It is required. Now what you want to do is throw your graham cracker and butter into your baking dish and pat it on down with one even layer. Make it look pretty. Okay, this looks really good. Now we're gonna put it into the oven that was preheating for 350 degrees for 10 minutes. All right, the graham cracker crust is ready. Let's get it out of the oven. Now we're gonna leave the oven on because the Pie bars are going to bake at 350 degrees. We're going to let this sit out for the remainder of the time while we're mixing up the ingredients. Okay, you want to start off with three packages. That's 24 ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese that's been sitting out and softened. And put them into your mixing bowl. To that, you're going to add two-thirds of a cup of sugar. That's one, that's two. Let's cream it and mix them until they're combined. It's just like creaming butter and, and sugar. You should also be scraping down the walls of your, of your bowl every now and again to make sure everything gets well incorporated. This looks pretty good. To this, you're going to add four eggs. You're going to add each egg one at a time. That's very important when you're making a custard-based pie. And the last egg. Don't be afraid to get in there with it. Mixing it up, mixing it up. Make sure everything is very well blended so that there's not a lot of chunks in here if you don't like that kind of thing. Some people like a more rustic pumpkin pie bar. So the next thing you want to do is set aside one cup of this 
cream cheese mixture. In this bowl, we're going to add one and a half cup of fresh pumpkin puree. Or you can add one can of pumpkin puree. And I'm pretty sure you can get both of these things year round. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of ground cinnamon and one half teaspoon of ground nutmeg. The rest of the remaining sugar from the original one cup plus two tablespoons. And the last thing that you're going to add is one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. And this can just be hand mixed. It's all, it gets in there pretty good. As you can see, it has a nice orangey brown color to it. Everything feels pretty well mixed. Just going to scrape down everything, make sure it looks really good. Still some nice good chunks in there. That's pumpkin gonna, pie bars is going to be really nice and rich. Okay, back to our dish. This has cooled down because we've been mixing. You're going to put it on your counter, move it on a towel so it doesn't move around at all. You're going to add this first. This is our pumpkin base. And just pour it all in there. Scraping down the sides and everything. Mm. If you want to make a really pretty design on it, here's what I do. I make straight layers all the way across. This will give it a marbled effect when we're done. Just be sure to distribute it, distribute the cream cheese evenly. And to make it marbled, here's what you do. It's really simple. Make sure that there's straight lines going all the way across. And then take your spatula and go down and up, and down and up. You can just go like this. It just makes the pump. It just makes that marbling all the much more better. The more you do, the more it marbles. And that looks pretty good. Now we're not just going to throw this right back into the oven, okay? We're going to put it in what's called a water bath. And that's basically, I'm going to take a sheet pan, put some water into it, and then put this on top. That's going to prevent it from cracking uh, either while it's baking or during the cooling down process. I put my sheet pan into the oven that's preheated, and then I take my teapot and I fill it with water. Now to this water bath, we're going to add the pumpkin pie bars. very carefully and we're gonna bake this off for an hour and 15 minutes at 350 degrees all right well our uh, pumpkin pie bars are getting ready to come out of the oven and so let's go grab them turn off the oven mm, it smells so good in here I'm so excited I can barely even talk now the best way to pull this out is by pulling the whole thing all the way out and taking it out of the water bath or else you'll end up burning yourself and everybody around you and it's not going to be a pretty scene. Now it looks a little puffy right now but once it cools down it's going to get a little bit flatter. You want to cool it down in your refrigerator for at least four to six hours before even eating it. It's not going to taste very good otherwise. It looks so good. Even Zoe Girl wants some. Okay, so our pumpkin pie bars have been chilling in the fridge overnight. And uh, that will be the best way to eat them. They look so delicious. I can see all the yummy marbling and the graham cracker crust in there. I can't wait to get in and take a bite. This is so good. I want you to try one.